of God. I don't know everything, but there are some things I have known that you can't expose yourself to the Holy Ghost and then you remain the same. And this is the spirit who comes to lift burdens from the lives of men. And where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. And listen, I'm saying this from the spirit of God. A great reward is waiting for you. Waiting for you. Inabidi watu wo wo ote wenye bumzi wa msifu muumba inabidi watu wo wo ote wenye bumzi wa msifu muumba inabidi watu wo 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 ote wenye bumzi wa msifu muumba inabidi watu wo wo ote when you pum zi wam si fu mu umba Eba Eba Inua Inabidi wanana muote When you pum zi wam si fu mu umba E mu umba Inabidi watu wote dunia nzima when you boom the wam sifu, he moomba. Hina bidi watu wote. When you boom the wam sifu, moomba. Eba, 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 eba. Hallelujah. Wasahili Yesu. Kakwini wa Yesu Wasahili Utukufu na sifa Asante wana Yesu Umetukuka mwana Umeinuliwa mwana Inabidi wana na muote Wenye pumzi wa msifu muumba Inabidi watu uote Wenye pumzi wa msifu Mumba Eba Inabidi wananamu Wote Wenye pumzi wa msifu He mumba Inabidi watu Wote Wenye pumzi wa msifu Mumba Wewe ni mungu Nasaili sifa Wewe ni baba Hakuna kama wewe Wewe ukisema Unatenda mwana Nani kama wewe Sifa za kozi mechanda dunia nzima Tua kusifu we Wasahili mwana wa mwana Simba wa yuda Nani kama wewe baba Inabidi watu wote Wenye pumzi wa kusifu Wewe muumbaji He baba, he baba, he baba Uliumba, hukumba, wewe ni mungu Hakuna mwingine kama wewe, wewe ni buwana Wasahili sifa zote na utukufu wewe buwana Inuwa, 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 inuwa Inuwa, inuwa, yesu inuwa, inuwa, inuwa Inuwa, nuwe, nuwe, nuwe Nuwe, yesu, nuwe Nuwe, nuwe, nuwe Nuwe, yesu, nuwe Wasahili sifa na utukufu yesu Nuwe, 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 nuw
Sifa Yesu Upewe Sifa Yesu Minuliwe Bwana E Bwana E Bwana E Bwana Wanadamu wate wana kuimbia Mana wewe ni mungu Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Bwana wastahili Sifa na utukufu ni zako Kioni ya leo baba Tunakuimbia, tunakuinua Wewe ni mungu mko Masia e e Yesu Christo Umeta malaki Pinguni na duniani Tukwabudu vipi wewe Wewe ni mungu mko Kuna staili sifa zote Wewe mungu wa milele Tunakuinua ewe bwana Mana unaweza Hakuna jambo lililogu mkwako Wewe bwana Nani kama wewe Uliethifo nyambigu na kinchi Wanaweza wako umetawala duniani Kenya tuwa kusifu Waditembo tuwa kushukuru Mana umetenda mambo maku Wewe ni mungu wajabu Nani mwingine kama wewe yesu Wewe ni buwana Mwana umejiwe wana ume wote Hakuna kama wewe baba Wasahili sifa zote Na utukufu baba Wewe buwana Wewe buwana Tunakusifu buwana yesu Asante buwana yesu Hallelujah Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna Hallelujah Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna Hakuna kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Our blessed father in the name of the Lord Jesus we thank you for who you are we thank you for your grace for your blessing for your glory thank you for being our God thank you because our names are written in the book of life we ask you that you receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise because of who you are and what you are doing in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for this evening service. Let families be blessed. Businesses be lifted by your hand. And let there be revelation and an encounter with your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Um, Pastor Michael Wambua. Wadi Tembo Church of God. We are in the city, the blessed city of Nairobi, in our great nation of Kenya. I want to continue sharing the word of God on supernatural living. Supernatural living. When Jesus was talking to Nicodemus, in John chapter 3 verse 8, he said to him that the wind blows where it listeth. The wind will blow where it wants. We only hear the sound, but we cannot tell where it is coming from 
and where it is going. And so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. And so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. You are born of God. You are born of the Spirit. Yes, you have a physical body that you may live in the physical world. Yes, you have a soul. You have emotions. You have feelings. But the Bible does not say that you are a body or a soul. God says that you are a spirit. Even quoting from Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, when God was creating you, human being, God said, and the God is a spirit, John 4, 24, God says, let us make man. Let us make man in our own image after our own likeness and let them have dominion. Let them have dominion. I want you to be reminded by the Holy Spirit with the confirmation of the Holy Scriptures that you are not flesh. You are not just flesh and blood. You are a spirit being. And I want to share on trusting the Lord. Just trusting the Lord. I started sharing trusting the Lord as a key of living supernaturally. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17, Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7, I had, I had quoted it during the lunch hour service and I want just to read it and I request those who are, have tuned into this service Follow the service to the end. You are before the Lord. You are in the presence of the Most High. I want you to pay attention and follow closely and the voice of God will penetrate your heart. So Jeremiah 17 verse 7, the Bible says, Blessed is the man, the man. Blessed is the man that Trusteth in the Lord. To trust in the Lord is to depend on Him. It is to rely on God. It is to live because God is alive. You don't live by sight. You don't walk by sight. But you walk by faith. Knowing there is a God you are supposed to trust. And because today is our school of ministry, every Wednesday we have our evening service and we call it a school of ministry. I will go faster, but yet teaching deeply. So I want you to catch up quickly. I started by saying God is a spirit. And the Bible here says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, trusteth in the Lord, to trust you to put your weight on God. It is to rely on Him. You depend entirely on God. And the easiest way of coming to a dimension, a level of trusting God, is to learn how to abide in the spirit because the Bible says you trust in the Lord the Lord himself according to 2 Corinthians chapter 3 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 the Bible says now the Lord now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty and the Bible says you trust in the Lord the Lord is a spirit. So the reason why people struggle to live by faith or to live supernaturally, it is because they are used to living in the flesh. They are guarded or guided by carnality. 
they have not allowed the spirit of God to work on their hearts, to work on their minds, and to break them to the level of the spirit of God having the way. And many people struggle to live this life. Yet, we are taught by Jesus himself in John chapter 10 verse 10 that the thief cometh but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I am come. Jesus says, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. You are called to live a powerful life. Learning how to depend on God. I want you to imagine for a moment that Moses, the man of God, he started a powerful journey with the children of Israel from, the, from Egypt, going to the promised land. And on the way they were to eat, they were to drink, they were to overcome countries and the nations that were mightier than them. Remember the children of Israel, they were not, they were not trained as, as men of war. They were slaves in Egypt, but God was in their midst. And Moses, the man of God, depended on God for all the time that he left Egypt with these people. So listen, the Bible says, blessed is the man. So there is something divine that you attract. There is something divine, supernatural, that comes upon your life the moment you make a decision of living by faith or of following the Lord. And I believe now I'm talking to a pastor. I'm talking to a leader somewhere. It is possible for you to depend on God. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. The Lord is the hope. The Bible says, He shall be like, He shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreads out a root by the river and shall not see when heat cometh but our leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit that is a very powerful scripture you become like a tree planted by the by the waters you spread out your roots by the, by the river. Then you will never see when it cometh. Then the leaf shall always be green. You shall not be careful in the year of drought. And then you shall never cease to yield fruit. That is a supernatural dimension. This is our normal life. When we are in Christ Jesus, it is not supposed to be a miracle to a believer. It is only supposed to be a miracle to those who are not born again. But us who are in the kingdom, us who are carrying Christ in us, we live in him and he lives in us. We are supposed to naturally live supernaturally. And we are supposed to live supernaturally natural. It is something that is supposed to be like breathing in and out. Just depending and trusting in the living God. Now in Isaiah chapter 30, I want to draw you into the depths of this teaching. Isaiah chapter 30. And I believe it is very possible for you from today to turn your heart from people. You turn your heart from human beings. Then you put your heart to God. 
and they will never disappoint you. Reading from Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. The Bible says, War to the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. You see, in the time of adversity, in the time of famine, when we are challenged as human beings, we tend to leave God. We tend to neglect the word of God. We, we neglect the channels of power like prayer, like meditation, like fellowshipping with one another. But the Bible says, Woe unto the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So when you take cover or you go to receive counsel and not from the Lord, not from Jehovah. That is the time you begin to add sin upon sin. Meaning, you have departed from the realm of the Holy Ghost. And now you have gone to, to rely on flesh and blood. You have gone to make, the, to make man the arm at men your confidence you make your your education your job your business you make it a god out of it and i'm calling somebody right now i want you to go back to the holy spirit i want you to come back to the holy spirit i want you to come back to the to the lord the holy spirit the Bible says, wow, unto the rebellious children. Because they take counsel. They want to be advised on how to deal with the ministry or a marriage or a job or a business or your career. And what you want to do is to run away and you go to ungodly people to tell you what to do with your life. This is a mistake. So the Bible says what they do is that they cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. We need the cover of the anointing. We need the cover of the Holy Spirit. We need the glory of God to become our blanket. We need the presence of God to become, to become our light the glory of God to be so tangible. But for this to happen, you must turn your back from the world, from the people, and from the desires that does not glorify the God of the Bible. So the Bible says that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Listen. Your, your spirit man can be covered with the Holy Spirit. Your body can be covered with the Holy Spirit. Even there in your home, those who are already in their houses, you can experience the covering of the Holy Spirit in your family. And that is where impossible things becomes possible invisible things becomes visible the things that you are unable to reach before they become reachable because you have turned your back to the world to men and even to the devils you see even now in the time of challenge people also love so much to consult the powers of darkness, witchcraft, sorcery. They want to go to diviners. They want to go to diviners in the name of prophets to be told what they are supposed to do, what they are supposed to do with their lives. 
I want you to be sensitive at this hour and allow the spirit of God to become your cover. I'm pleading with all my sons and daughters within one temple church of God everywhere in this world. Make the Holy Spirit your close companion. Allow him to lead you, to speak to you. Allow the Spirit of God to impart faith and to impart honor in your life. Praise the Lord. So Isaiah 30, now coming to verse 2, Isaiah 30 verse 2, the Bible says that walk to go down to Egypt. When the Bible says you are walking, going to Egypt, Egypt there simply means the world, the systems of the world, depending on your human capacity, your human connections, your human capabilities. But God is calling you into the supernatural life because God knows very well. God knows that God knows how he created you. And he knows that you cannot live without him. Jesus spoke clearly in John 15. I think verse 5 he said, For, for without me, my God. He said, For without me, you can do nothing. For without me, you can do nothing. For without the Holy Spirit, without the word of God, without the divine help from God, you can do nothing. I'm reminded of the word of God again. The Bible says, except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman is awake for nothing. I want us to depend on God. I want us to believe God can heal diseases. God can meet all your physical needs, financial needs. Jehovah can put anything in your hand. But you are not supposed to take your way. And you go down to Egypt. Isaiah 30 verse 2. That walk to go down to Egypt. And have not asked at my mouth. God is telling you. You are not supposed to go your way into Egypt. But you can inquire. You can ask God at his mouth. You can go and you tell Jehovah. You call him Abba Father. You call him my God. You call him my Abba Father. You call him my God and my Lord. Then you tell him, Blessed God, I am sick. Take away this sickness from my life. I am going down, oh God, lift me. God will surely lift me. So the Bible says, they have not asked at my mouth. God is ready to speak. That is the meaning of that, that portion of the scripture. God is ready to speak to you. But you must go and you ask for him to speak to you. Proverbs of God. Apostles, you are listening to me. Men and women of God all over the world. God is saying, when you ask at his mouth, he will speak. He will talk to you. Then he says, verse 2, they says that they walk to God down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow in the shadow of Egypt so people are running away from divine strength from divine help and they want to run to Egypt to Pharaoh 
Pharaohs are the rulers of this rulers of this world. You see, I thank God for the efforts that that a men of God in our country are putting, asking the government to open the doors of the churches. I believe it is a good idea to do so. But listen, it is not the president who closed the churches. It is not the government of Kenya or the governments of the world. Church is a spiritual thing. What we are supposed to do is to demolish principalities and the powers and the rulers of darkness because our warfare is not carnal. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. The Bible says they are mighty. The weapons of our warfare are not flesh and blood. They are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So hear me, man of God. We can, we can take the root of the path of the Egyptian or the path of the world thinking that we are doing things right. One of the things I am calling the body of Christ into is a shifting from the natural into the supernatural. And we stop depending on natural ways of natural ways to solve spiritual problems. God wants you to get deep into him. You carry an anointing. You carry authority. And the God is going to turn your life around. So we are not supposed to trust in the shadow of Egypt. We are not supposed to, to, to run to the world for help. We need to come back to the church. That is where our strength is. Verse 3 says, Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be to your shame. I want the church of, the, of Christ, the body of Christ right now, to turn from the ways of the world, to turn away from the systems of the world, to shun from the wisdom of the world, to solve spiritual things. Let us return back to God. Let us inquire from his mouth in a prayer. And God is going to answer because the Bible says, verse 3, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. If we as the body of Christ, we must overcome shame and overcome confusion that we are seeing in the world today. We need to go back to the realm of the spirit and we pray just the way Elisha prayed for the young man who was serving him. You see, he woke up one morning and they saw the enemies of God, the Assyrians, surrounding the mountain, coming to capture the man of God. But thank God, Elisha prayed a very simple prayer. He said, Lord, open the eyes of this young man that he may see that many are they who are with us more than the enemies that he's seeing. My prayer this evening, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah, to open your eyes right now and you begin to see in the Spirit. You begin to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. You learn how to walk in the spirit. That is where our rescue is. Because if we don't, if we don't do that, 
then we are going to hard shame we are going to hard shame and the confusion together and i decree in the name of the lord jesus shame is not your portion confusion is not your portion verse 4 it says for his princes were at zone and the sabbathers came to Hennes. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be an help, nor profit, but shame and also a reproach. Don't go to people who cannot help you. I'm, I'm not saying that you cannot share your challenge or your problem with your brother or with your sister. I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm speaking about a level where you make human beings your source. Human beings your source. I pray for you today that your eyes are going to be opened by the Holy Spirit and you will stop depending on human power, on human mighty, on the world economy to preserve your life. There is an anointing that we need at this season for you to live a supernatural life. To live a life that is beyond your means of survival. So, I want us to continue. Let us go to Isaiah 31. Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1. The Bible says again, Wow to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know, there are people as I speak now around this world who have decided to live a life of prostitution, conning people, deceiving others, even I know there are pastors, I put it in quotes, who are now prophesying in order to get food to eat. You need to lie to people that you may get money to live. Listen, you cannot live that kind of life and yet you expect to see divine supplies from God. God is saying, woe unto you. You are bringing into your life a curse, self-inflicted curse, when you depend on man and you want to go to the ways of Egypt. So Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1, the Bible says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and they stay on horses, and they trust in the chariots, because they are men. Yes, horses are men in this world. Chariots are men in this world. And in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. This is the time to lift up your eyes and you fix your eyes on Jesus. You fix your, your heart on God. The Bible says, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Listen, God's children, this is the time to seek the Lord. This is the time to eat the word of God. Learn how to live by faith. Learn how to trust in the Lord. When you feel the urge of borrowing something that you already have, you say no. God is going to open a way for me. And our God is, is very, very, very generous. Verse 3 describes what I'm talking about. The Bible says, Now the Egyptians are a man and not God. You are the one to choose from now. To live for men or to live for God. 
you are the one who is going to choose today to depend on human beings or you depend on God. And the only way you can depend on God is when you lift up your eyes to the Holy One of Israel. Then you begin to seek God with all of your heart amid these two challenges. You will begin to tap to divine help. The grace of God will come upon your life and transform your life. Isaiah 31 verse 3. Now the Egyptians are a man are not God. And their horses flesh are no spirit. So God wants you to know he is your God. And the God again wants you to know he has a spirit that you can depend upon. We can rely on the Holy Spirit. We can trust and believe in the word of God. So the Bible says, when the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is helped shall fall, and they shall fail together. If you don't want to crash, if you don't want to come to the end of your life, your ministry, your business, your marriage, stop depending on people. Because the word of God says that both the one who is trusting man together with the man is trusting for, both of them, they shall together fail. There is a God we can depend upon. We can choose to wait upon Jehovah and he can pour help upon our lives. He can pour help upon our lives. Before I close, I want to urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus, go back to God with all of your heart before you sleep this night. Before you retire to your bed tonight, take your mind to God and you tell him, Jehovah, I come to you with all of my heart. I don't want to take the path going towards Egypt, going toward the world. I don't want to rely on the chariots and the horses because they have an end. But our God doesn't have an end. I want to close by reading Mika, the book of Mika chapter 7. Mika chapter 7 and verse 5. Mika chapter 7 and verse 5. The word of God says, Trust ye not in a friend. I know you have so many friends on Facebook. There are so many faces, so many friends you have on the Facebook. Others have already reached 5,000 limit. They are friends. And you see, every time a challenge comes, you want to start, you want to start something. They call it a WhatsApp groups. They are not bad. I also participate when I'm invited to one. But listen, it can be it can be a channel. It can be a, a it can be a trap to you. It can become a snare that every time a challenge comes in your life, you create a WhatsApp group to help you. It is not wrong. It is not wrong. But listen to the word of God. Micah chapter 7 verse 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies or lieth in thy bosom. Even your own wife, that is what the Bible is saying. You are not supposed just to open your mouth saying anything at all times to your wife. You are going to destroy her life. You can't wake up one morning and you say, Oh my God, today 
you my wife and my children get ready we i am broke we are going to sleep angry that is not the way you are supposed to be speaking as a man believe in god for your family trust the lord to supply all the needs of your family the bible says the bible says verse 7 verse 7 i'm closing with that Micah chapter 7 verse 7 the bible says therefore i will look unto the lord therefore will i look unto the lord i want you to begin to look unto god he has all the power he has all the mighty he is willing to bless us beyond measure therefore i will look unto the lord i will wait i will wait i will wait for the god of my salvation my god will hear me i want us wherever we are wherever you are and maybe you can read this scripture loud with me so i want you to personify the scripture and read together with me therefore i will look unto the lord i will wait for the god of my salvation my god will hear me i want you to make that your scripture today your scripture for your family a scripture for your ministry jehovah is going to surprise you is a dependable god ever reliable you will never put to shame those who trust in the lord there where you are in the name of jesus i request that you lift up your hands in the mighty name of the lord jesus and begin to tell the lord i am giving you all of my heart today i am giving you all of all of me in the name of jesus i am not going to take the path to egypt i am not going to depend on chariots on horses because because the bible has clearly said that egyptians are men are not god pharaoh is not god is is a, is not god is a human being we serve a supernatural god there where you are in the name of the lord i want you to lift up your hands and begin to tell the lord forgive me for taking the wrong path for me to receive help but jehovah you are more than i need you are more than we need jehovah you are able to clothe our lives you are able to feed us you are able to deliver the church from depending on the wisdom of man depending on human weapons to fight or to engage in a spiritual warfare jehovah here we are in the name of the lord anoint us afresh anoint us afresh with the holy spirit with the holy spirit in the name of jesus we lift our faces and we look unto you we agree with the prophetic word in micah chapter 7 and verse 7 i will look unto the lord my god i will wait upon the god of my salvation and i know god will hear me there where you are my sons and my daughters my fellow soldiers in the ministry of the gospel we can lift our faces to the most high we are not going to inquire from diviners we are not going to consult witches witches we are not going to consult ungodly people for ungodly wisdom 
our God, you are enough. You are more than enough. More than enough. You are more than enough. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I wonder as, as we give our offerings this afternoon, we get ready for worship. In the name of the Lord, giving God together with the worship. You have your tithe with you. You want to sacrifice something because of your family, because of your business, because of your ministry, because of, the, because of this nation. You are saying, man of God, I want to see the supernatural hand of God coming upon my life giving to God in the time of need giving to God even when you don't have enough that is to show him that you are not depending on what you have but you are depending on the God of all power and mighty our giving information is there you can go to your M-Pesa, then Liban M-Pesa, buy goods and services. Till number of the church is there, 84, 1690. I want you before, before we pray, get ready and begin to prepare for your offering. I am going to pray for you, so get ready. Get ready, I pray for you. In the mighty name, in the mighty name of the Lord, Jehovah, I pray for people who are watching from Kisumu, from Mombasa, in the city of Nairobi, wherever they are connecting with this grace from, I pray, Jehovah God, that you open our eyes to see in the spirit that we may not depend on Pharaoh or Egypt but we can lift our faces to God we can wait upon the Lord our God we can be blessed by the Lord supernaturally Father I pray for everybody giving right now sacrificing in the time of scarcity let your mighty hand be strong upon them heal their sick bodies let every chain be broken and let the crown of glory come upon them in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name we pray amen you are saying man of god i want also to connect you directly my number is there zero seven two zero three one three eight three two be blessed as we worship the lord together thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. Wasta Wasahili bwana Yesu uli Yesu lobiwa wewe baba Yesu uli Yesu lobiwa Yesu uli Yesu lobiwa Yesu, 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 
some things I have known that you can't expose yourself to the Holy Ghost and then you remain the same and this is the spirit who comes to lift burdens from the lives of men and where the spirit of God is there is liberty and listen I'm saying this from the Spirit of God. A great reward is waiting for you. 